Hi everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we are going to focus on how adrenal fatigue affects your digestion. This is a huge problem for women that are under chronic stress. Their digestion is one of the very first things that they notice as far as a symptom of stress and adrenal fatigue. So hang tight, let's dive in deeper. Hi friends, my name is Erica Eller and I am a certified wellness coach and nutritionist and I help high achieving women beat burnout by managing their stress and focusing on their health for revitalized wellness. Today, we are talking about stress and how it impacts your digestion. What people may not realize is that when your body is in a fight or flight response, other systems within your body are being put on hold. And one of those systems is digestion. And so basically your body is saying, this is a dangerous time. She is under a severe threat. We have to keep her alive. We don't need to focus on digestion. And so what happens when your digestion is affected? What's actually going on in the body? Well, the first thing is when you are in a fight or flight response, your cortisol increases. That's the first thing that happens and it helps you to be able to act quickly in that threat. That threat very well, it could be a lion chasing you. It could be that you are just mad at your husband from the night before, or you could be mad at some remark that somebody said to you. Your body responds exactly the same. So as cortisol increases, that actually prevents and inhibits mucus production within your intestinal tract and your intestinal tract needs that mucus in order to have all your nutrients absorbed optimally. And so you'll hear people that will talk about when you're under chronic stress, um, it seems that your body becomes more acidic. That's not necessarily true. There is an element of that, that you become a little bit more acidic, but the biggest piece of that is that your body is, is not producing the healthy mucosa lining in your intestinal tract. Therefore, that acid is basically kind of eating away at that lining and that's how you develop ulcers. It also prevents you from absorbing the nutrients, which is why a lot of people that are under stress are really nutrient deficient. The second part is that yeast increases with stress. And so as your cortisol rises, the yeast, and we all have normal yeast levels within our body, but when your body is under a stress response, the yeast starts into like a budding production. So it's basically reproducing. It's multiplying at a very significant rate. It's happening really, really quickly. As the yeast continues to multiply, it has a severe impact on your immune system, which then will lead to that bloating and that constipation that you might be feeling during chronic stress. What do you do if digestion is one of the symptoms that you experience during chronic stress? How do you take care of it? Well, I have created a download for you, 10 ways to improve your digestion that you can get by clicking the link below. I give you 10 very practical and simple ways to improve your digestion during times of chronic stress. And it's really an everyday solution for improved digestion. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.